Very good. Okay. Would you be good enough to tell us the rest of the individuals that you were engaged in that conversation with? Well, uh, one Commander Asari. Okay. Please go slowly. The yes. Police Commander. Yes. But I don't know which district or which region or which section he command. There was one man also later joined called Commander uh, C.O.P. Mensa. Okay. That he's on leave now prior to his retirement. That he was also part of it. Yes. Mm. Since I cannot keep everything they were talking to me at that, uh, at that point, it was very, very good to record them so that I know the president, if I tell him something, he will follow up with the truth. Next time, he will not give me respect. You know him, and I know him. So the best thing was to ensure that when I tell him, he asked me, are you sure? I said, well, this is the tape. I don't want to miss it. Did you, you listen to it. Mr. Chair, that is not wholly correct. What is wholly correct? Mr. Chair, what I admit as correct is that I had a meeting with Mr. Pukri Nabu, but we didn't have any plan to remove the IGP because I don't remove IGP and I don't appoint IGP. The audio that I listened here today is edited version of the conversations that we had. And because of that, wholly, this audio that we listened is not genuine. Mr. Chairman, as I sit here, if I can tell you from first minute to the last minute of all those things that was in the audio, for me to reproduce to you what is genuine and what is not genuine, then I'll be lying. You've indicated that meanwhile this IGP is not correct. What has he done? Honorable Chair, I will not deny that fact today tomorrow or the next day. I will make that statement again. That the current Inspector General of Police is not managing the police service well. It's something I will not run away from. I will say it everywhere, anywhere that I go. And you can do your own investigations, call police officers underground and find out from them. My concern was and is that as we speak, majority of police officers are not happy. And remember, police officers, they vote. Their wives vote. Their children vote. Their mothers and fathers vote. That is my concern. It should jolt your memory and you need to accept that, yes, that's my voice. That is all that we're trying to achieve, you know. And let's get it that simple and it will be fine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. But my problem yes. is that Because of technology, you might hear some voices that looks like your voice, but you don't remember saying those things because anybody can put anything anywhere. Sometimes you can see a pic your picture, which is not even yours, but it's your picture. My intel suggests that what was used to tape the conversation was done by the current IGP. He sent some people to do it, and after which he went for it. So the tape 
from my intel is with the IGP, and he caused it to be leaked. So if this committee wants the tape, the right person to call before this committee is the Inspector General of Police.